I'm American. Yes, sir. I'm waiter. Waiter, I'd like to have you get my eggs. It's getting late. Yes, sir. Waiter, how much do I have to pay? 60 crore. Here it is. Take this. See here. If I don't get my eggs soon, there will be another waiter in heaven. Are you coming right back? Hello, Oba. Might I have a glass of beer? Do you know the meaning of hair over? It means head waiter. Yes, yes. I smile. Often they call him that. Why, yes. Just waiter. I didn't want to hurt his feelings. If you treat these fellows in this manner, they take liberties. You see, you will not get your beer. I take considerable stock in Leo Tolstoy. But, you have to pinch these waiters to make them skip. You have seen how he acted about my eggs. Waiter. Flash of beer. Jump now. Come in quickly, sir. Cigarette. I'll bring quickly, sir. Tolstoy is no good. Nietzsche is the true philosopher. The only one. What do you opine, sir? Do you read Tolstoy in your country? I'm a Dutchman. <laughs> Tolstoy is nothing. Man should express himself. He must be strong. Is it your opinion that we should kill off the weak and the diseased? Yeah, yeah, it's coming. That's true humility. We feel more to trust in human nature. In human nature, I believe so far, as I can see, no more. I judge a hero is just a person that will help another at the expense of himself. Take that poor woman there. She's a heroine. She would die for her baby anytime. Even animals will die for their babies. That's nothing. I guess you don't know how good you are. What is your nationality, sir? I'm afraid. I'm nothing particular. My mother was half English and half American. And my mother half German and half Dutch. Cigarette. That flash of beer. What does the railway official say? Our train has come. We have just a minute. Come along, good woman, come along. Everyone rushes to the train. The woman struggles to get into the train with her baby and her two bundles. So, the little man takes her baby and one of her bundles and manages to get into the train. Guess I'd like that window raised. It's kind of chilly after that old run they gave us. <laughs> the German takes out a book. The Germans are great readers. Very stimulating practice. Don Quixote, a fine book. We Americans take considerable stock in Old Man Quixote. Bit of a wild cat. But, we don't laugh at him. He is dead. Dead as a sheep. A good thing too. In America, we have still an amount of chivalry. Chivalry is no good in modern days. A man must push, he must pull. So you say. But... I judge your form of chivalry is sacrifice to the state. We allow more freedom to the soul. Where there's something little and weak, we feel it a kind of noble to give up to it. That way we feel elevated. Now, the little man enters the doorway with a baby in one hand and a bundle in the other hand. Is there room? I can't find a seat. Why, yes. There's a seat for one. May I... Come right in. Where's the mother? Afraid she got left behind. <laughs> that would appear to be quite a domestic incident. Have you got her bundle and her baby? You'd better get off right smart and restore that baby. There's nothing that can act matter than a mother. Poor thing, yes. She must be suffering. How did it happen? We got there just as the train was going to start and I jumped, thinking that I could help her. 
but it moved too quickly and left her. Guess I'd have thrown the baby out to her. I was afraid the poor little thing might break. It's highly entertaining. What kind of baby is it? There's some bad smell. I haven't looked at it yet. Is it a girl baby? I can see only the top of its head. The baby is over wrapped up. It is better to unbind. No, no, no. I think you are right. It might be a pity to unbind that baby. It's sucking my finger. Nice little thing. I can see its face a little now. What sort of body does it have? I don't see anything but spots. It is not uncommon among babies. They seem all over its body, but it is quite a good baby. Is it kind of boiled looking? Yes, yes, it is. I think the baby has measles. It licks my finger awfully. Really, it's rather a sweet baby. Are the spots rosy? No, they are dark, almost black. Got it is typhus. Typhus. That is quite an indisposition. The Dutch youth rises suddenly and goes into the corridor. The German follows him smoking cigarette. This is the most sublime spectacle I have ever seen. There ought to be a record of this. Guess, I'm wanted in the dining car. The American vanishes. The little man sits down again with the baby. The train reaches the next station. A station official accompanied by a policeman appears from a doorway behind him. Little man descends from the train with the baby in a bundle. This is the man. Have you stolen? I speak only English and American. Is this not your baby? The official touches the baby. Take care, it is ill. This is not your baby, no. No, it's not, no. You are under arrest. Why? I don't want the poor baby. Is this not your bug? No, then you are under arrest. I only took it for the poor woman. I'm not a thief. I'm... I'm... I'm unable to understand. Where is the mother? She is coming by the next train. Come with us. A policeman comes. They take the little man towards the door. Suddenly, a voice stops them. Just a moment. Guess. You've got an angel from heaven there. What for the policeman has come? What do you mean? Is there anybody here who can understand American? Unable to understand. Well, just watch my gestures. The American turns towards the little man and signals flying to denote that the little man is an angel from heaven. Then he makes signs of arrest. To exhibit the little man's heart of gold, he points to his heart and takes out a gold coin. The official thinks that the American wants to give him bribery. It's too much. This is a flower in the field. He should not be arrested. It is my duty to do. He is the whitest man on God's earth. I must do my duty. Oh, very well. Arrest him. Do your duty. This baby has typhus. Does the baby have typhus? It's horrible. I thought you'd feel like that. What to do then? It's better to isolate the baby. Put down the baby and come with us. Do I have to leave the poor ill baby here alone? What does that body snatcher say? He says that this man uses his baby to save himself from arrest. It is better for you to go out of business and wait for the mother. Put the baby down. Do you hear? This man is giving his life for that poor baby, though it is no way related to him. This is a very Christ-like character in the gentleman. Put the baby down, or I will command someone else to do.
What a man this is. What a sublime sense of beauty. <laughs> At this time, the mother of the baby is seen hurrying. My baby. My baby. Lady, don't go to take. Why did you bring out a baby with typhus? Well, that's quite a question. No, no, no typhus. Skin out the baby's leg. If we don't locate spots on that, it will be good. My baby. It is white as banana. You have made kind of fool of us with your old typhus. Leave that lady. My baby. The policeman takes the little man's arm. What's that? They are going to arrest him. Suddenly, the mother kneels down and lifts his foot with boots and kisses it. The policeman leaves the little man. Brother. I am proud of you. This is one of the greatest moments I have ever experienced. Along with our little friend, I guess we shall all go home and treasure the memory of this face as the whitest thing in our life. And perhaps this good woman will also go home and wash the face of our little brother here. I'm inspired with a new faith in mankind little brother. Stand right up, the official bows him. The policeman salutes him. The duty youth shakes his head and laughs. The German stands straight and bows quickly twice. The mother kisses his hand. A golden ray falls around the little man's head. The American rushes forward, drops on his knees, takes out his camera and takes a snap of the miracle. <laughs>